everybody it's Yuli here from the look adventures it has been a while since I have an update in my vlogging so I was basically four months you know and I wasn't active but I decided today that I should do some updates so you guys you know what happened already so it was four months ago since I found out that I'm pregnant so today is officially my 22 weeks of pregnancy and it's not long to go I'm halfway there and so I decided to make a short vlog it's gonna be a home gender prediction test so it's an old wives tale which is you cannot really base on it so it's still very good if we are going to do really an ultrasound if you really want to do and uh, find out the real gender of your child what you are carrying at the moment so we are just doing four types of tests at home and uh, the fifth one is to reveal the real result of my ultrasound because i have been ultrasound already guys on uh, friday last friday so today is saturday and uh, not this friday but the friday before we had a test and um, ultrasound and we found out what is the real gender of the baby i'm carrying so first we have to do the chinese gender predi prediction so chinese calendar so we're doing the chinese uh gender predictor and uh, it's on the so all you have to do is just go in your oops go in your google so i'm using my laptop so I'm not so sure how accurate it is the home gender. I um, I just want to see if it's very if it's, if it's realistic. I know it's a lot of women out there who is pregnant that they're actually doing this kind of test just for fun. So it's nothing it's nothing really serious about it because we really don't know. Every woman is different. We we cannot say that I'm carrying a baby girl, I get more sick or I'm carrying baby boy, I I'm less more sick. No, because I've heard a lot from my friends who become a mother already themselves that they have exactly the same um, um, symptoms. Like when they're carrying a boy, they're very sick. Some of the women who carry a girl, they're also sick. So this is just for fun eventually. So Chinese calendar gender prediction. So I go for this one, but so it's a lot of options here that they actually show it to you. But I'm usually using babycenter.com. So it's only going to be two questions. What are they going to ask you when, how old you are when you conceived? And the second one is when did you conceive the baby? And then you just click predict. And they actually say it's a girl. I don't know if you can see it, but they say it's a girl. So they say it's a girl according according to the ancient Chinese gender chart. It looks like you're having a girl. Okay, so that's done. Chinese gender calendar. I reckon it's a girl I'm carrying. I don't know. What do you think? Am I carrying a girl or I'm carrying a boy? You'll find that soon. A ring test, old wives tale. This is about um, so you basically use a ring, a wedding ring, your wedding ring or your husband's wedding ring, but I want to use my wedding ring because it's the one I'm wearing with one one uh, piece of my hair I tied it up and I will just have to put it on top of my belly and it says that if it's gonna do rotations that's a girl if it's gonna do back and forth then it's a boy so let's check it out So it's a girl, it's turning around. It's amazing. Okay, according to the ring test, that it's actually a girl. 
it's turning turning around i don't know how true is this but let's find out the next one is a baking soda test so baking soda they said so every woman is different these some of them they pour the baking soda some of them they use a two tablespoon of soda some of them they match how much quantity is the the pea it's a bit disgusting this part guys so if you don't like it you can skip this part and uh, some of them half of the pea and half of the baking soda so if you pour it and if it's a uh, bubbling non-stop and it's uh, fizzy then that means it's a boy but if it's stagnant when you pour it and then it stop flat then that means it's a girl so let's have a look what is the outcome with my baking soda test According to my baking soda test, it's a girl. It fizzed a little bit and then it went flat, completely flat. So I'm not so sure. I really don't. I'm not so sure what it is with this kind of test if it's accurate. All right. Now the last one is the red cabbage test. So basically, in the red cabbage test, you actually chop the the red cabbage and then you boil it in the water okay so everybody this is the cabbage that we boiled so this is the part we call gross part so if you are not into it you can skip this part of the video uh, we will show you that uh, so that's the color for now and it always says that it will turn into red or pink as we pour the pea then that signs it's a boy and if it turns into purple then it's a girl okay So it has to be equal level with the cabbage water. What do you think? You went purple. It's a girl. <laughs> so everybody can see it went purple. So that means it's a girl. Now, according to my red cabbage test, it's also a girl. So I'm not so sure guys, because all of my tests is actually saying it's a girl. And uh, I know it's a lot of people that um, be doing this kind of test and constantly for me, it's a girl. And the other ones, they have boy, girl, boy, girl. And I don't understand why all my test turns into girl, pointing out into a girl baby. So really the final one is the ultrasound results. So officially, I want to show you something. Just a second. If it's really a boy, if it's a girl. So so you guys, you know that I've been really to the ultrasound. I'm not just smacking around. There you go, I'm back. So here is the results. All of these are the imaging that we receive from the ultrasound. And um, so eventually you cannot see it. It's very dark, but I've been already and guess what? So I didn't expect it. Um, actually the gender of the baby that I'm carrying is it's a girl so i'm carrying a baby girl which is due very soon on june this year so um i don't know if it's really true with all of these uh gender tests at home because based on my my test it comes at really a girl result 
but some of the people though they have a girl the outcome that they're doing a gender home test they come come up sometimes like a boy a girl boy and girl so for me it went all straight as a girl it was very very straightforward and uh, so I'm not so sure if it's everybody has exactly the same thing so um, another thing guys that other women mother themselves uh, that told me that if you're actually carrying a girl you would experience craving more sweets than anything and you would have that clean uh, tummy you don't have the line in the in the middle from the belly button upward here that's a sign that you're actually carrying a girl and if you're carrying a boy they said you would actually feel more like eating salty food or sour food and you would have that line in your belly button so that's what it said but at the end of the day all of these things is just for fun and the best things is always if you want to get the accurate result of your baby gender you have to go and check and have an ultrasound so you are sure what baby you are carrying and at the same time you are able to prepare um, all the clothing that you want it to be ready beforehand before the baby's arrival so thank you so much i really appreciate for your time watching my vlog and uh, to those who haven't subscribed yet on my channel please don't forget to hit the red button and stay updated and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything on my update thank you so much for it. keep watching and loving us God bless and be with us to those who wishes to have children and themselves. God bless you all. It's just so comfortable looking at your back. That's all it wants to do. It's loving it. It's very shy. Very shy baby. Mm -hmm. Just wants to show us its spine and that's it. Mm -hmm. so I think it's a little girl. Is that? Wow.